Oh. As you can see, I am very much broke. So today, I decided to build a massive tower filled with different farms in my hardcore world. So let's get into it. Okay, so before I can start making farms, I gotta upgrade this crappy gear. Alright, now that I have enough diamonds, I should start enchanting. But first, I will figure out the nearest slime chunk. Alright, I think this is the best area. Let's get to digging. Yeah, this is a bit slow. Let's go back to the enchanting plan. Ah, die! Ah! And we've got enchantments. Alright, let's get back to digging. Whew. Okay, so I decided not to dig the entire hole and instead leave these layers, as I think I can fit most of the farms in here without going all the way down. I'm doing this out of laziness, by the way. Now for the slime farm, all I have to do is add some golems, a collection area, and boom! First farm finished. I know it felt pretty fast in the video, but just this small farm already took a weekend away from me. It might have been easier to start with some smaller farms. I actually just remembered that I still need to light up the caves around the area, otherwise uh, there will be no slime spawning. Okay, now the slime farm is finished. Alright, so the next step on my list is um, an iron farm. I don't know this yet, but this was actually the biggest mistake and time waster of the entire project. In order to make an iron farm, I first need a bunch of villagers. So, uh, let's do that or something, I don't know. Alright, definitely not an hour later, and we have our farm. I gotta wait for more villagers, so in the meantime, I think it's best to work on some of the other farms, especially bamboo and sugarcane. I actually don't have any bamboo, so I'm gonna need to find a jungle first. Alright, this should do. Now where's the bamboo? And we got it. Now let's just get to building this thing. Hey, it's me, Narration Chris. How's it hanging? Here's a graph. You know what to do. Click the button. Okay, bye bye now. So I think the bamboo and sugarcane farms are done now. The way that these farms work is pretty simple. The crop grows until it is detected by an observer, which sends a signal to this piston, which breaks two thirds of the crop so it can grow again. Then it is taken up to a chest with a water stream. Pretty easy, right? Still not enough villagers for the farm. All right, I'll just go make a melon farm in the meantime. This farm basically works the same way, but horizontal instead of vertical. Okay, we've got four farms down, and now it's time to start thinking of the actual tower. For the eventual tower, I really want to use the new mud blocks, so I will have to find a swamp first. Alright, a lot of this footage was recorded ages ago, I was just too lazy to script and edit this video. So, back then, mud was still sorta new. Alright, you know what, I'm just gonna grab the villagers that I already have and make them into the iron farm. And there it is! There's one issue though. Golems spawn in a massive radius around the farm. So I will have to spawn proof the entire area around this somehow. And the way that I decided to do it was carpet. One sheep farm and a bit of waiting later and boom, everything looks like it's snowing. By now I've already got six farms so I think it's time for a couple side quests. I will need wheat for the walls so here's a little farm. DIE! I will also need a lot of materials for the tower so... Alright, I guess it's time to build the foundation now. So I figured something cool out. You know how I use the texture pack to slightly change the color of oak? I can do the same with redstone to make it invisible. Nothing can spawn on redstone. This means that we don't need to keep this whole winter wonderland shtick. Wow, it actually works. That is surprising. You know what? I think that this foundation is a bit small. Let's make it bigger. And I'm gonna need some wood, so I'm gonna make a full on forest down here. Alright guys, this is the moment you've all been waiting on. The walls. Oh, that, that wasn't what you were waiting on? Oh, well, here's me building a boring mob farm then, I guess. Whilst making the mob farm, I also build more wall and thicken the foundation even more. There's actually three layers of foundation in here now. Kinda like the girls in my class. Okay, so I've been waiting here for a good, let's say, 15 minutes. Let's see how much we got. That's, uh... <laughs> That's, uh, ooh, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty bad. Did I, did I do something wrong? Oh, wait, I get it. I just need to light up the area around me. They're spawning everywhere except my spawner. All right, makes sense. Now it's time to add a little flair to my build and, oh, yeah, I forgot to record the whole first segment. I'm sorry, did I say segment? I meant the whole fucking build. This tower went from a big cube of mud into a beautiful 
almost finished tower on corrupted and forgotten footage. I could not be making this up, I swear. I was using some experimental settings, so a lot of the footage was just randomly really laggy, which is why so much of the process has been a voiceover, because I genuinely just can't use half the footage. This is, this is painful. This is very painful. Next video is going to be better. I, I hope. Anyways, I guess here's some footage of me being amazed at how good everything looks with shaders. Um... So I did a little bit of off-camera grinding. <laughs> I mean, I know the shaders make everything look better, but Jesus fucking Christ. Holy shit. Last time you saw me, there was one layer. Okay, so a little summary of what happened. So... I increased it all the way to the height that it needs to be. I added those two motherfuckers, which actually, like, this one took me a shit, like, it took me really long to make. This one, you know, I came with the right materials. Also, I added some, like, extra little details, so don't mind, you know. But I came in with the right materials, and I actually made something out of it. Because this time I actually knew what the fuck I had to do. Oh, the farms are definitely working. They're actually underperforming a bit, in my opinion. In my humble- oh. You know, that might be a reason why. Never mind, maybe they aren't underperforming. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah, okay, that's full. Um, I, I haven't checked in here in a while. Okay, I think there's a crafting table down here, yeah. Alright, I finished up the roof and uh, finally figured out that my recording was absolutely fucked. So here is a proper final recording of me finishing up the build. So, uh, I thought that I was finished. I thought I finished recording this about two months ago. I'm very slow when it comes to YouTube, okay? So I'm halfway through the scripting process, and with halfway, I mean, I'm, pre I'm, I'm done with all the notes that I had, with all the recordings that I had, just to realize I still need to do that right there. I don't have any of these materials, by the way. I don't have any dark oak left. I, I might have a little bit of warp left. I definitely don't have any spruce. I haven't been on this world in two months, alright? I haven't played Minecraft, like, at all in, like, two fucking months. How's, how's this bad boy doing? Ooh, I like that. Thank you very much. Oh, this is very profitable. This is gonna be very useful. Excuse me? Excuse me? Why do we have so much bamboo? I mean, I know why I added more bamboo because I wanted scaffolding. But I, I think it might have been too much bamboo. The villagers doing fine. I, I actually haven't checked this bad boy. Uh, it's just, it's just kind of full. So the point of these farms all being like so close to each other was that they were going to slowly culminate into having like... Uh, like a decent amount of stuff inside whilst I'm busy with other projects Yeah, no, I am rich already. This project took too long Anyway, so yeah, we gotta we gotta get up to fixing that shit It has been a while. So I don't know exactly what it up. Oh, what are you doing there, buddy? I don't have arrows. That's kind of a waste A lot of dark oak and a lot of spruce and is that are those stripped spruce? How rich am I? Oh, yep, yep, just gonna... Yep, oh, no, the strip dark oak. Oh, God, that's even worse. Am I the only one that thinks that leaves actually look better at low quality? I, I like the black. I don't like them being see-through. It's weird. Makes my trees look like they, they're, they're, like, very thin. Like, it's constantly fall, you know? Okay, let's see where I'm standing when it comes to resource. Oh, I've got plenty of warped. Never mind, bro. I got resources for days. Dude, even more warped. Bro, okay, I'm, I'm fine on warp. You know what the worst part of all of this is? Is it's not even the end. I still have more to add in episode 2. Luckily, in episode 2. I'm not, I'm not trying to fit more inside this video. That would, that would make me go mentally insane. But, you know, there's still a lot of stuff that I have to add in order to finish up this area you know what I, I, th I think it's time for me to explain the plans a little bit for the rest of the world this area is gonna be more in the Japanese style the next area 
I was thinking of more of a Greek style. And then the area after that, and the area after that, and you know, it's gonna keep flowing like that. So that's my plan for now. But yeah, big things coming for this world. I have a lot of fun little builds that I wanna do. I have like, oh dude, don't even wanna know, man. I got the Japanese area over here, obviously. The Greek area that I've uh, mentioned. I might be doing like an Aztec area as well. That's just a bit up to what I feel like back then. But I definitely want to do like a, an under the sea area. Uh, like, you know, like an Atlantis type uh, thing. Uh, and I definitely also want to do something in the sky. Especially because, you know, soon enough. Gonna have an Elytra. Not gonna be on the ground much. So something in the sky and definitely something underground. Uh, but the sky and underground and underwater, those are all like far into the future. For now, let's just stick with this place. Does it look good though? That's that's step one of the process. You can't even see it. You know what? Then I'll just call it call it done. Uh, let me get some torches. I think I lit everything up well enough, uh, and I still need to light up some things up there. So I'll go do that. And there it goes. The sweet, sweet sound of a finished build that I'm very unfamiliar with. This, as I said before, this is the first time I've ever done something of such a scale. It, it feels very out of place knowing the rest of this, but I'll, I'll make everything else seem cool too one day. My god. That's awesome. I want to see it from a, a bit further away. Aw, oh, dude. That looks sick. Anyways, here comes the outro that I made either by figuring out how the fuck I can get replay mod to work with my like optimization mods or by me going in spectator mode. Let's hope it's the first. Wow.